Hello and welcome to another episode of Arms Rain. Um, today we're gonna be trying to play live again instead of by replays, try and mix things up a little bit. Hopefully the wait times won't be too long, but if they are, I'll just cut through them. Um, it is a Sunday evening, so people might be trying to, you know, get prepared for the next week. Although tomorrow is Labor Day, so I'm not old enough to really know what like adults life's like, but I'd assume that they'd also get Labor Day off because it's uh it's not like Columbus Day or some stupid holiday like that. It's a work based holiday. So I do have tomorrow off school, so I may or may not upload another video. Um, my homework load isn't terrible this weekend, so I've had enough time to play. But anyway, our first opponent is rich and cute. A deadly combination. I wonder if they're using Twin Tail, because of all the arms characters, that might be the best description, or the character that best meets that description. Uh, looks like we're facing Kid Cobra, Sparky, Hydra, and Boomerang, I think. Ooh boy, this will be fun. Hopefully it won't be as difficult as that Lola Pop we faced previously. But, I mean, this player might might even be an alt account, you never know. There we go. So one interesting thing I saw on Reddit was that um, somebody was trying to make the argument that curving your arms is useless because your opponent can simply dodge out of the way, and I don't think this player is like a bad person or trying to slander the game or anything, but I'm that point just kind of confuses me, I guess. Alright. Yeah, there you go. I wasn't expecting them to rush, but I definitely was expecting them to jump and air dash. Yeah, that's kind of the habit of theirs. There we go. I guess they could have broken that grab, but I don't think they were really expecting it. So, let's see if they switch it up. A Hydra might be more annoying to deal with, although this player is not particularly aggressive, so... Not quite likely. Ooh, that boomerang didn't catch me. Interesting. I need this how he did. Alrighty then. Time to start angling my arms upward. Because this is getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have saved my rush to counter theirs. Because watch. There we go. There we go. Couldn't do that forever. Maybe I need to switch up my timing a bit though, because they were jumping over everything. Or maybe I should have actually committed to the idea of uh, aiming upwards. But, good game. Let's see if they're gonna rematch. And alas, they will not. But, I think that that was a match, I guess, to demonstrate how I guess people can be kind of readable sometimes. It's um, kind of hard to explain, but the more you play, the more you start to notice these kinds of things. And with this game especially, it, it can be really hard to know what you're doing wrong, just because there's so few, like, technically there's so few options regarding your button presses. So, you can either punch with your right arm, punch with your left arm, angle your punch, and then you can move... Oh, well, same person. 
You can move, you can dash, you can jump, you can grab, you can block, you can do whatever your character can do, like hover or triple jump or quadruple jump or shockwave or kick or whatever. And then you can rush when you have that. And that's pretty much it. Like most fighting games take Smash Bros. You've got two, you got the five aerial attacks for every character. You've got um, three tilts and three smashes for every character. You've got uh, jabs. I should focus more. You've got grabs. Four grabs. Or four throws plus pummeling. You've also got blocks, rolls, spot dodges, air dodges. Um, five get up options off of a ledge. You've got teching in which you've got three tech options, stuff like that. And in Smash Bros, sometimes it can be easier to tell what's going wrong because you can be like, oh, that back air really left me vulnerable. Maybe I shouldn't use it as much. Super armor coming through. But in arms, it's like, well, I'm, I'm punching, all right. What more do you want, game? But yeah. I need to focus more. This stage is definitely more in their favor as well. Why aren't they going for any grabs at all? Too like blocking is one of the better options against the boomerang because it's got such a long cooldown time. Ooh, they actually got me. All right, time to focus up and go double nade the slammer Doesn't put, seem to be putting in as much work this time. Although this is kind of a risky move, because now I've got less defense against these boomerangs. Oh, these uncharged boomerangs. Oh wow, that was um, a weird situation. Anyway, maybe closing in on him isn't such a great idea. Maybe I'll try and stay a bit more mid-range. Oh nice. Sniped them. Oh wow, and I didn't even punch through it. A grab though. <laughs> wow, the boomerang actually like followed me. I'm gonna go ahead and rush them. Moon. I hit him out of the air. And hit him before they can use their rush. Um, not like it would have... It did 300 damage, I think, last time. That would have been a little over a quarter of my health. And they're going to stick with the boomerangs. So I'm going to close in on them, and hopefully they'll use their rush. Gonna just eat three explosions. Okay, good. They didn't get the full damage. 160. That's um, an above-average grab. That's Mechanicus grab, I guess. I really shouldn't be getting hit by all of these. I need to step my game up. And once again, they're gonna get hit by a rush that they really should have been able to avoid. I think they're starting to adapt. Or maybe I'm losing my game, I don't know. Alrighty then. I guess you're going to um, punch twice to stall your air momentum and allow me to hit you with my rush. A nade rush does do quite a bit of damage, so yeah. There's your second game, I guess, or my second game. Let's see if there's anyone else online. Ah, man. I didn't do as well that round. They were most likely adapting more. So, thinking back on that, what I probably could have done better was change up my own strategy. Because my own strategy, it worked, but like, it wasn't as efficient as it could have been. Because that was a pretty close game. and. 
between somebody who appeared on the surface to just be doing the same thing over and over again. I shouldn't have been falling for something like that. So, maybe what I could have done instead was block one boomerang, or block one boomerang, dash a bit, and then block the second one, because unlike the first game, they were shooting them more in a, like, one, one after the other's done, I guess. They'd fire one, and then fire the other one while the other's close to being done, so... Block one, dash, block the other, and then hit them as they're landing. That might have worked a bit better than trying to punish after just the first one, which worked a lot better the first game. But I think that's all I have to say right now. My memory might be failing me as well, so... Maybe everything I've just said is completely wrong. Let's go mess around until it is time. Oh, okay, we've got somebody. Bin, a rank 19. So this will be a tougher fight. Most likely. Okay, Ribbon Girl, Triblast, and Birdchuck, and also Retorture. Um, my, seriously, my joystick, oh my god, I swear this thing. Well, this might work out anyway, but my clapback was out too long. Yep, okay. But sometimes my joystick just gets locked in like an up position and it's really frustrating because when going through menus or arm selections, I have to just deal with that. And that was a completely unexpected one. So I'm gonna go ahead and rush them. Alright, I'm doing really badly. That was a poorly aimed nade in my opinion. And I'm probably gonna lose this first round to something unexpected, but... There we go. Okay, now let's actually use double nade. Slammamander might be useful, but are we against Ribbon Girl? I don't know. Okay, now we have nades. Uh, I've got the lead now, Ribbon Girl. You can go ahead and jump around all you want. I mean, now you technically have the advantage over me. There we go. There's a rush, and her um, revolver is gonna miss. Retorture. Oh wow! I'm surprised none of those hit me actually. <laughs> okay then, that went a lot better. Hopefully my joystick will not misbehave, and I will continue using double nades. Thank goodness. Nice. Preemptive grab worked. Not really sure what happened there, but I'll take it. I was expecting an attack, but I guess they just weren't expecting the rush, so... Yeah. Most of the time I wouldn't go flat back against like a Ribbon Girl player, but there are exceptions. I'd say that went much better with nades equipped. So let's see if they're gonna rematch. This is like the highest ranked player I've run into in a while. Uh, I guess not. Maybe we'll run into Rich and Cute again. But yeah. 
Our next opponent will most likely be our final one, though. So let's hope that it they have an interesting playstyle and we can have a good fight. Man, I remember when level four was hard. When beating level four Grand Prix was all it took to get into rank. Okay, we got Taylor, rank 18. We are not going to be using Twintel. Twintel is actually uh, the only character I have not beaten level 4 or higher Grand Prix with, so that's what I was doing. So Lollipop, I got, I saw the, the, um, Biffler and Lammer. And cut that. Lola box. I don't have to see to beat you. It's actually interesting is that um Piggy Manka on player, if you somehow didn't know him, has actually tried playing blindfolded and it kinda worked out. That was a good grab. Interesting. Gonna grab in the gap there. The clapback lasts longer than the Biffler, but... It, um... Biffler and clapback, I guess they just happen to line up in my favor. I'm gonna call that out for once. Let's see if they'll do it again. Guess they won't. Guess they've learned from their mistakes. Wow. The uh, Slammamander hit the floor but didn't actually fall down. How nice. But this battle is certainly going to be more challenging because this player is more aggressive. Double Whammer. Wow. I don't know exactly what, how to feel about that. Um, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh wow. Closing it. I don't think that was a very good choice, honestly. I mean, that was just stupid of me, but like... Double whammy? Against Mechanica? With a curving arm? On Lollipop? And you're doing that? Maybe this won't be as challenging as I thought. Or, if they're gonna rematch, perhaps they realize their mistake and... We'll go back to the combo that was actually giving me a challenge, which was the Biffler and Clapback. I had to really think to uh, get around that. Alrighty, so since they didn't rematch, that'll be our final fight of tonight. I hope you enjoyed this episode and have a very nice day. Um, also in regards to this party crash, I am most certainly going to be supporting the cop and dog duo, Bite and Bark because even though I don't main them, they are probably my favorite characters. So uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.